Hello, this is Greg, the Uber driver. Today is Saturday, July 29th. It's around 7.30 p.m. And I want to speak again about these new African-American teaching standards um, for the curriculum here in Florida. Um, basically pushed by Governor DeSantis, pushed by his Board of Education, his Education Commissioner, Mr. Diaz. Um, and now Governor DeSantis is trying to pretend somehow he doesn't have anything to do with it. Governor DeSantis, you appointed the commissioner. Governor DeSantis, you appointed the board. Governor DeSantis, they report to you. And Governor DeSantis, this was done with you in cahoots with you. So don't pretend to deny that you're not involved with it. But now it's quite interesting that you begin to see a number of African-American um, elected Republicans you see Byron Daniels, a congressman from here in Florida, who one time supported um, some of this, but now that he's finding out that what's all in it, he doesn't support it. Um, Tim Scott, Senator Tim Scott from South Carolina, who's also running for president um, in competition with Governor DeSantis. Um, then you also have um, Congressman John um, James from Michigan, and I believe um, Congressman Wesley Hunt, also from Texas. Um, they um, don't believe that black people benefited, that African Americans benefited from slavery because they were taught new skills. Guys, I'm sorry, y'all need to check out some history. Um, I did teach world history for a while and, and not off the, off the top of my head. I mean, you can look back at many African empires that spanned Africa, um, that they were um, advanced in medicine, in math, um, and technology at the time, they did not need to be enslaved by the white Europeans, ripped from their families, put in chains, taken across an ocean, and then enslaved there to learn skills. To And I love this whole one. Parlayed into being a blacksmith. That's the one. And then the, if you look, as I, I've, I've done a little bit more checking, some of these people, they say it all became this, that, or the other that they've used are not even correct. Um, so again, they, 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 they needed this, they needed to be enslaved to become a blacksmith. Guys, they had skills before they were ever brought here. Um, this is nothing more than an attempt for some that want to whitewash what truly happened. Um, our history in this country and every country has a lot of good parts. It also has a lot of bad and ugly parts. And the slavery part is bad and ugly. And to try to pretend it didn't happen and try to pretend it was beneficial, it's not. It's not, it's not. And one thing about history, we need to read it, we need to know it, because we don't need to let history repeat itself, whether it's a slavery issue, whether it's what took place um, around the world in the 1930s and the 1940s, or in other times. But we don't need to let these white supremacist, racist, fascist types take over in this country as they did in Europe um, and got us into World War II. So we need to make sure we don't do these things again. So we need to teach the history, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. If you don't like some of it, that's too bad. Sometimes facts are quite ugly, and this fact is a very ugly part of our history. Thank you, Governor DeSantis, for trying to whitewash it and pretend it didn't happen, but it did happen, and you are responsible for what's going on now. No wonder you're failing in your quest to be the Republican nominee for president.